Um, you know, it wasn't always clean. I told him after the game, you're going to have to win football games like that. You're not always going to go out and, you know, be perfect in all three phases. And, um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, once we got settled in defensively, I thought our coaches did a great job, uh, you know, adjusting some run fits that we had to. Um, and after that, I, you know, I think they completely dominated the game. And so uh, I thought defensively was uh, as well as we've played. Uh, I thought we attacked up front. I thought it was important that we went up front. Um, I thought Dion, what, six tackles for loss were incredible. The Twins were three and a half uh, sacks, and I think we had seven sacks. I don't know. Uh, but I, I thought overall uh, they did uh, a great job offensively. Uh, you know, just kind of felt rusty at times um, throughout the day. I think uh, not only as players, but even as coaches. Uh, you know, I think we were a little rusty as well. Um, you know, we didn't really get in much of a rhythm, uh, especially there in the first half. And, uh, you know, uh, had to kick too many field goals. But you have to give Rice a lot of credit defensively. They do a great job, and that's, they have a really good defense. Their D-line. Uh, is, is as technically sound as I've seen in this league. Uh, they do a great job of coaching them. Uh, they mix things up defensively enough to where they're, they're giving you different fronts, three-man bear, four-man. Um, and so it's a challenge. They do a great job coaching. And then special teams, we made some big plays. Now, we had the one inexcusable mistake there in the first half where we uh, roughed the punter, which is unacceptable. Uh, we have to get those uh, mistakes cleaned up real quick. Um, but did a great job of, of also not only defensively, but special teams got a turnover, uh, which was huge. So I think overall, uh, you're going to have to find different ways to win football games. Um, I, I was proud of the way they gutted it out and obviously proud of the result. Was it just exciting to be back out there after you know, 34 days at that point? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, anytime you go out and compete, especially in today's age and have the opportunity to, uh, uh, it's always a blessing, but especially when you go 35 days. Um, you know, I was I was uh, really excited. They were really excited. I was really the coaches were really excited about getting back out there, and they showed it. They had great energy. Uh, we might not have played smart always or gotten the uh, wasn't the cleanest, but their energy was there. Their their um, their grit was there. Everything uh, that we needed to do was there. Um, just maybe could have executed a little better in some places. What did you see from Coach Bowen over the past month, um, moving players around, finding what worked, and just you know finally getting the result you all had today? Well, I'm I'm proud of him and his staff, proud of the players because if you truly knew what he he's had to deal with, uh, maybe I'll I'll write a book here after the season, or, or maybe we can all sit down and talk about it. It's pretty amazing to be quite honest. Um, when you get through the weeks and you don't know if guys are in or out, uh, you don't have many guys in or out, you're trying to get one game plan going and a plan B game plan going, uh, not being able to have the spring ball. And I think he's finally getting comfortable with his guys, finding the right fits for the players. Um, at times, it's just been a matter of those right fits are going to be able to play the right positions at the right time. So. It's been challenging on them. They've worked hard. Uh, I think uh, we've had great weeks of practices here the last few weeks. Um, but, uh, you know, you can really tell that they're, they're, they're starting to figure it out and getting a lot better. You brought up Dion earlier, but just the game that he was able to have especially in the first half kind of set the tone. Uh, just what did that mean to, to this team? It's, been, it's huge. I mean, it, it's all going to start up front on either side of the ball. And I think uh, Dion really, I think, clicked started clicking really the last game, 35 days ago, uh, about how he's supposed to play the position in this defense. And it's more, uh, you know, we want to play on the, other line of the, uh, on the other side of the line of scrimmage. And, um, you know, with a big body like that, he's strong, he's powerful, um, he's hard to block. And if, if he creates matchups to where guys are going to have to put more than one guy on him, maybe double him, which uh, double him, and when that happens, now you're freeing up linebackers a little bit better. And so just overall understanding, I think uh, I think that light bulb went off, and he's he's the last two games, he's played as good as he has since he's been here. One more guy. Got off to a slow start, which is a little bit of, of just rust for you guys. Yeah, I think rust. I think, uh, you know, I think we had some opportunities early uh, in some of our tag game, which we didn't uh, – we didn't maybe see it at the quarterback position. I have to see it on tape. Um, 
I thought uh, just getting in the rhythm, we didn't really get in a rhythm, one. And I think uh, some of that's Russ, some of that's us as coaches. You know, we got to do a better job of getting them to that spot. Um, you know, we get rusty too. And so, you know, once we hit that big play with Bean uh, and the quarterback run game there, he hit that big long touchdown. Uh, we had some other opportunities. We, we had about, we had a lot of big mistakes on some crucial plays in the red zone, uh, some bust and some, uh, you know, some uh, stupid penalties really that kind of set us back to where we had to um, settle for field goals. And, you know, probably on the, th I wish I would have had back the, I think it was third and eight or nine, third and nine there and on our own, I think, I don't know where we were, 40 to 30, I should have ran the ball probably there. Knowing it's four down territory, if we get it close enough, you know, at least you have an opportunity at, you know, six or less to where you can go for it and or get yourself and have another opportunity to field goal. But, you know, I just think we had some mistakes um, as coaches, as players, uh, things that um, you got to get cleaned up in order to continue to win games. Just real quick. Yes, sir. You guys were missing some players today. Were you proud of the way your team pulled together when you were in the short Especially, yes, all of us. I think uh, we did have some guys out um, <laughs> until very recently. So it, it's been it's been a mental challenge. But I will say this: uh, there was no no way uh, our players were gonna even let us consider canceling a game. They did not care how many guys we had, as long as it was safe as coaches. Uh, they were going to play this game unless they were told by the AD or myself otherwise. But, I mean, they, they came to me quite frequently telling me that we are going to play this game. So, yes, Thanks, sirs. Guys. Yes, sirs. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.